You can find this at any Walmart, which is where we got this particular one. Uh, with no ID checks, no harassment at the counter, no three-day wait, waiting period or anything like that. What we're going to do is we're going to take this basically harmless baseball bat and turn this into a killing machine. Now, first thing we're going to do is we're going to mount some tactical Picatinny rails on this thing. Not the best uh, tool user in the world, so easy on the comments or emails here. Not trying to impress anybody with my uh, screwdriver ship here. Trying to mount a Picatinny rail on a dang baseball bat. <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> All right. like me prefer a clean workspace when making a deadly killing implement like this. Now I've got my rails. Now again I purposely made them off center by or off rather by about a half an inch because I didn't want my nail or uh, my screws rather from here interfering with the screws here yeah I could have used different holes but I wanted to use the same in fact if you you'll see what I'm about to do and it, it'll make a difference okay the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to install our handrail She's looking deadly now. Now one of the things that we're going to do is to make this thing as deadly as it could be. They're talking about bayonets. Well, I don't have a bayonet. I do, however, have a really cheap old knife that I don't use. Oh, this is so unsafe to be doing right now. One more modification we're going to do before we put the finishing touches on it is we're going to put what we're going to call tactical grips on it as well. Yes, that's what I'm talking about right there. Nice grip, just in case. Now, finishing touches. I'm sure you've been sitting here spotting it. My sights. I have to put sights on this thing. Isn't she a thing of beauty? The Legally Armed America Bunker is where this thing, the first ever prototype assault baseball bat, was ever made. As you can see, it's got the assault grips on it. It actually has an assault foregrip on it, connected to our Picatinny rail that we custom installed, um, in case you want to hold it like this. If you just want to swing away, you may want to disengage the foregrip and just swing away with it like this. Or if you're trying to acquire the sight that you're going to be attacking, you have your trusty little sight. It's actually a laser. 